Occam Athletics. It was probably a year ago I was a weightlifter. Right? I don't know if you Look, consider bro. yourself a weightlifter. But... I think I think if you clean and jerk 135, at least you put something into it. I got to compete to satisfy you. All right, dude, I'm an internet weightlifter. I'm an internet weightlifter, and I'm back at Occam with the homie Ben. Uh, I get fired up my gills uh, training with Connor and Ryan in LA, and then seeing Omar train here, so I want to... Uh, Get back into some cleans. Snatches just were weird with my shoulder. My shoulder's fucked up and it made my hips move weird, which didn't help any back issue I previously had. Uh, I told you guys I'm not deadlifting, so my back's feeling really healthy. So we're gonna probably just do our lower body days here, really. So we're gonna do two lower body days here a week, which will consist of some type of squat, some type of clean, whatever Ben tells me to do. Maybe a push press to feel like an athlete again. Maybe a push jerk, some nature, and then uh, clean poles or whatever whatever the programming says. And then upper bodies I'll either do on my own or at untamed strength. So uh, a lot of training footage on the way. And we're going to see if we can push this clean to something. My legs are actually really strong right now. So um, they actually weren't that strong even when I was weightlifting with Ben last time. My legs just weren't. I wasn't in that good of shape. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Cleaning felt fun. I obviously was only cleaning like 175 or something in L.A. But uh, <clears throat> I think we can do a little something. And it doesn't hurt. That's number one, is it's fun and it doesn't hurt, and that's the pocket I'm trying to sit in. It's not always about your biceps, it's not always about how much you deadlift or how much you bench. Sometimes it's just about having fun, looking okay, and staying in the pocket. So, that's what we're doing, fam. I guess maybe it's because I do YouTube and podcast stuff. I always feel like a performer. So I do like a live audience like that. Musically, I've been to musicals, acting, lifting, but the internal drive is never satisfied by that. Pause. You were in a musical? I've been in more musicals than I can count. Are you serious? So the school I went to was super weird. It's like, um, it's a, like a liberal arts school, but it's like based off this German philosopher. So it's a All private right. school. Mom was a teacher there for 20 years, so I just went there. Uh, kindergarten through 12th grade. And there's 24 kids in my class, graduating class, not just like sit down class, right? Like full class of 24 people. Every subject you do through entire, you would love it. Every subject you do, science to Spanish to anything, all involves art to some extent. Uh, and they try to teach you through uh, listening, through doing, which may be an art or performance or something. Like uh, example, we're learning about Roman history and we talk about these things, you read about these things, and then my teacher takes us outside and teaches us how to march like the Roman soldiers marched to try to hit different pathways of learning. Okay. And that's for every class. So like, I'm really bad at traditional art, but I've probably drawn more pictures than maybe even particular, like professional artists. Like, because at 12 years, every single class, you had to. I had to, okay. had to. So you want to play? Go, uh... I explained the phases of being old to Marcus off, off camera, but we'll do it on camera today. Ben's the same phase as being old as me, where in the beginning, you feel great no matter what. And so you just hop into lifting weights or whatever activity and not give a shit. And then you get to like a certain age and you kind of warm up or you kind of don't feel good. Uh, and that's probably, it's kind of training age, it's not number age. And it's probably 20, often 18 to 28 maybe, depending on how serious you take things. And then, and then you get to an old face, which is Marcus, Filipino Thunder. And Marcus spends three hours getting ready because he's in so much pain. And then you get to me and Ben where we just don't care, we hurt, but we don't have enough time, energy, or pain to actually warm up, so we get think through things very rapidly to get the pain over with and go back to the resting pain. Oh. YouTube, baby. Right. Yeah, it can't hurt.
clean and jerk was 135 kg. But that was only combined, so I never, I don't think I maxed clean by itself. But that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking side roads. Goal is to continue to have fun with training, lose a little bit of weight, get some mass, but uh, I want to feel like an athlete again. And I, I, the last time I felt that was cleaning, and jerking, and snatching with Ben last year. Um, it felt fun to have a variety in my workouts, even though I have that now, but I'm doing a bunch of cardio as my variety, rather than here I can burn some extra calories and do something that um, is new. Always trying to be a little bit of a beginner. So uh, maybe dunk a basketball again. So if I lose a little bit of weight, get my clean up, keep squatting, then we'll dunk a basketball outside for the, for the folks. How close do you think you are to dunking right now? I don't know. I grabbed rim real easy December. Like real easy. When I was playing basketball a little bit. Um, yeah, probably not that far, to be honest. I feel pretty good. My squat's good. This feels good. Uh, cleans actually didn't hurt at all, which is really good. The push press hurt my wrist a little bit just because we're fat and can't get in the position I want to get into. But uh, slowly chip away. So maybe Wednesday. What day is today? Monday? Wednesday, maybe we come back in. <clears throat> A little bit heavier squats, clean again, maybe push press, maybe not. And then Saturday, we're going to start to drag Ben to come squat with me and Marcus. So big boy squat day Saturday at Untamed. This week's a little hectic because we're recording four podcasts. So I'll probably get in some back and biceps tomorrow off cam. It's boring stuff. You guys don't want to see it. And then cardio. And then now we got this new whip, brand new whip. Show them the brand new whip, bro. You wait. All your other YouTubers buying Rari's. I'm buying a local made bike. It's right around town. Keep it classy, Sacramento. So I'm gonna ride this thing around, get a little extra cardio in. I actually, uh, Fridays is normally my off day for work. It's the time I do like errands or help my mom or whatever, but if I don't have anything, or, or if I do, I'm gonna try to uh, take this thing on the road. We'll see if we'll get Con Air to roll with me, but there's a really nice bike path here in Sac, so uh, get in, something simple, 10, 10 to 20 miles. Just cruise around, turn in some music, listen to a podcast, jam out, enjoy the spring air, but first I gotta get clarity in, because we're the city of trees, we got so many trees. I've been here 25 years, and I still get the absolute worst allergies known to man, but um, easy day. Hour workout, maybe a little less. Some squats, some cleans, some push press. I got my warm up coming here, which saves my time on the bike. Cause normally I got to warm up so my back doesn't hurt. So that feels really good. I'm gonna head home, uh, uh, hop on Twitch, play some video games, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So I'm Mike, I'm out of here.